Okay, good morning. For your formative assessment, number one, we have here the first exercise made up of lines and arcs along with the application of the dimension tool. So to do that, let's go to our SketchUp and then proceed with a new template. Just make sure that in your template, it is set at uh, an upsetting of uh, decimal millimeters such that when you create your lines, your entities, they are measured in millimeters. Okay, so let's uh, proceed. If uh, you have the same settings as my my SketchUp here in my browser. Now, uh, in order for us to proceed at the same pace, let us uh, change our scene, convert that into a parallel projection, click on this, and then go to top view. So now the human figure tie is now just a line. So let's try to zoom out and then zoom in. So that we go to our workspace between our green axis and the red axis. So going back to our ex exercise, we have here a horizontal line made of 200 mm, 400 mm, 600 mm, and 800 mm. So we need four segments, four segments of a horizontal line. And then these four segments are then the ones that we will use to create those half circles. Those are arcs, which are half circles. So let's start. This should take us around uh, five minutes, five to ten minutes if uh, you have some difficulties. So let's start with the line. Click on the pencil or if you are already an expert in using the shortcut keys, what do we use for for our line? We could do you could just uh, press L on our keyboard. There we have it. It's already lying on our red axis and uh, in our in our number box we have 3883 so we can zoom in we can zoom further because uh, our our window is as big as 5 meters or 7 meters we could further zoom in okay now what do we need as the dimensions? We have Kanina 200 mm. So there we have created 200 mm. Next is 400 mm. From the 400 mm we need 600. And then from the 600 we need 800. For a total of 2000 mm or 2 meters. And then so that we could get the actual endpoints of our arcs later on, it would be nice if we could set our dimensions right away. So let's find the 200 mm mark. There we have it. The endpoint of our 200 meter to create our 400 millimeter mark. So to the bottom. Then the end of our 400 mm mark to find the 600 mm mark. Let's uh, align the 200 mm dimension with that of the 600 mm dimension. And lastly, our dimension for the 800 mm gathering from the endpoint of our 600 mm. There we have it. Our horizontal line is complete with all the dimensions. Now we only need to create the half circles. How do we do that? We could use any of the uh, arc tools. 
whether just the arc, the two point arc, the three point arc, or our pad. What would be most useful or most appropriate for this one is to use the two point arc because we have the end, end points of the segments. So let's try it with the 200 mm. So if we have the origin or our starting point at this end point click on then we need to click on the next endpoint drag it to the drag it to the top or above of our horizontal line here we are given a hint that uh, we could create the half circle then we could just click on it or press enter and we could create the half circle allow me to zoom zoom further on our browser so that we could uh, work on it closer yeah. next is the downward half circle with a diameter of 400 mm first end point second end point then in our in our number number box we could see that uh, the bulge is already at 200 and we also see a hint again for the half circle so we could just click on this and we could get the half circle right away then the 600 mm for a 600 mm to have a half circle we need a radius or a height of 300 mm since uh, we cannot see the half circle hint here we may as well just enter 300 in the number box lastly for our 800 mm horizontal line one end point second end point and then the height of the bulge or in this case the depth of the bulge we need 400 and there you have it we are now finished with all our arcs and the horizontal line however do not forget to put your initials in my case my initial would be jdam so using the line tool Allow me to create the JDAM since uh, the most open space that I could find is here. Let's uh, create the letters J B And then for my A and M, I just have to create triangle for the A. And a rectangle for my M. this so that I get the proper midpoint because that's where the M will be created so remove the excess lines either using a raise tool or simply clicking on the unneeded lines and pressing the lid. so let's also remove these surfaces we can delete them using the eraser and that's finished but we have to gather the output as png and the skp so let's download them 
download as SAP so 2021 and newer so that it could be accessible to other SKP apps now it's downloading you could uh, rename that later on another is to download the PNG when downloading the PNG you could uh, set the view settings or the scene and in this case since I have already set it in this manner if I need to zoom in I could further do that and I could also make it such that the background is transparent or not okay so let's export it as PNG and sabi niya dito larger images may take a bit longer to export just allow it to export this is just a small okay so that's it good luck with your work